It's bittersweet that after 15 years of service, Metope, Europe's first polar orbiting weather satellite, has reached the end of its life. In November 2021, the deorbiting begins, the process of lowering the satellite down from its orbit until it disintegrates in the Earth's atmosphere. This process starts when the satellite rotates slightly so that its thrusters can be better aligned to propel it into a lower altitude. On the following day, the main phase begins, a series of 15 maneuvers conducted over 10 days to decrease the altitude of the satellite's point of orbit closest to the Earth from 817 to 580 kilometers. Next, the satellite rotates back to its original position and when it reaches the South Pole, it performs its last hurrah, a rare upside down maneuver that will enable UMETSAT teams to improve the accuracy of weather and climate data. During the 50 minutes it takes to do one full roll, the instruments that usually scan the Earth will instead scan outer space. This move, which has only ever been performed a few times before, will be a first for UMETSAT. When the spacecraft nears the North Pole, the data it collected during this scanning of outer space maneuver will be transmitted to the ground station in Svalbard, Norway. After this, all that's left to do is to use up the remaining fuel, disconnect the batteries and transponders, and wait as atmospheric drag and gravity causes the inactive satellite to loop down towards the Earth with increasing speed until it finally disintegrates in the atmosphere within 25 years, in accordance with the international requirements on space debris mitigation. Although the satellite is not subject to these requirements, as it was designed before they were instituted, UMASAT is strongly committed to keeping space clean. <laughs>